chronic disease epidemic. It's not because our kids are lazier. It's because we are actively poisoning our kids with food from big ag that is that we're spraying with all these pesticides, these chemicals. And if you look at the ingredient list of just a Lunchables box, we, we are basically giving kids the worst thing possible for their metabolism, for their endocrinology. So that I, I'm more interested in a healthcare conversation that tries to make sure that a 12 year old doesn't have to get on Ozembic by the time they're 18 years old. And just so you know, they're giving pediatric Ozembic now for 12 and 13 year olds. They are, they are now treating obesity as a genetic disorder that you cannot do anything about. And they just want a 12 year old to now have to take a shot every week to try to curb their obesity, which has all- What's up YouTube, hope you guys are feeling good. Today guys, we're back here on the new video. Today we're gonna to check it out. Charlie Cook takes on naive college liberals. Okay, I call Charlie Cook, people love kicking us. Let's go right to this video. Let's talk about the border. Please. We have brought in 5% of the population of Haiti. I, I don't see the issue with that, though. Like, as... Uh, you don't see the issue with allow, that? Allow, allowing immigrants into our country, no, I mean, is that these, not the foundation of our country? These are illegal immigrants, illegal immigrants yeah, that cut People seeking line. refuge for the best country in the world. Isn't that the whole point of your, like, organization? Well, the U.S. is the best country in the world. Shouldn't we be obligated to, like, help oh, people that are suffering? Yes, America is the best country. Therefore, its citizens should come first, not Thank foreigners. You. So we, we have an obligation to our own so people. Path. Yeah, so the pathway to citizenship should become easier. Though. No, we should deport them all back to their homeland. We should homeland. deport them all back to their All homeland. back to their homeland. All the immigrants, okay. Well, we shouldn't all make it the illegal for... foreigners, yes. Okay. In Springfield, Ohio, in one town, English as a second language speakers in one high school went from 250 to 1,500 kids in two years. These communities are being overrun. Go down to Aurora, Colorado, right down the street here. Entire apartment complexes are now being run by Venezuelan gangs. Not to mention every day an American citizen is being killed from Lake and Riley to Rachel Morin to 11 year olds that are being killed in uh, DUI accidents. We have a belief that our founding fathers had, which is that your government does not fulfill its obligation to its own people mm. first. Its government is not legitimate. And that's what's happening mm. right now. Our government is now providing taxpayer funded cell phones, hotel rooms, benefits, airplane rides, cash for foreigners, but not for mm. Americans. If you guys as an American citizen want a free cell phone, they'll laugh at you. As a foreigner from Venezuelan, you get one on the southern border. You get a flight to any city that you want. You get a luxury hotel in New York City. You get taxpayer-funded health care. That is the inversion. That is elevating somebody from a distant land over our own people. When our own kids can't afford homes, when our own people are seeing an increase in crime, homelessness, and we have over 50,000 homeless vets in this country. It's a breakdown of the social yeah, contract. That's a breakdown. Wait, so the government should support veterans, support yes. citizens, more we should do? Yeah, so, yeah. So, so we should spend more on our people no, with like no, no. better health care, well, better social hold programs. Hold we, That's literally what you just said. We, we, we should spend it on veterans and not on foreigners. Sure, and American yes. citizens with like cheaper health care. That's what you just said. Well, hold on. You're Free trying to... phones, airplane rides, public transit. I that don't sounds support... great for Americans. No, it sounds terrible, actually. For Americans? Yes. Government should not be giving free phones to anybody, okay? You said because... that the citizens should come first in those programs Yes, first. you know how they should come first? By not by having nothing. to compete against a foreigner for your job. Yeah. But I don't think that's the case, I mean, though, when most like... How about this? If, if your own perspective was correct, would you feel careful, comfortable going in an Uber right now to Aurora, Colorado and going to those three apartment complexes? I mean, according to the Aurora police, I probably would. They say the apartment complexes are not overrun. You, you should get in the car and go, yeah, and go, and, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Go, go talk to anybody yeah. here and go knock on the door sure. and they'll extort you for cash because we're a country that is open for looting right now. For the, the entire world, over 118 countries have entered the southern border. That we know of, at least 99 people on the terrorist watch list have come across the southern border. We're talking about people from Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, from Iran, people from Pakistan that are coming here and mean harm to the interior of the United States. Not to mention, we're breaking down what it means to be a citizen. A citizen should be put first above anybody else. If a government does not do that, then the government is not fulfilling its base, basic True. obligation. True. And the number one obligation is to make sure that its people can have a pathway to a better life and a good life. Not a variety of free stuff, but not have to compete with somebody from Brazil for a home. Not sure. have to no, but not sure. The way that we're not doing that is that we're importing the third world and we're quickly becoming the third world. So why don't we use our resources to improve the third world so they're not coming here rather than because just spending the Because that's not the role of, of the American government. So you think we should be concerned about Central American politics. I don't care. Yeah. I care about our own people. So then you don't the border care about and, those people that are sex trafficking you know, you know children. Why? It, 
Hold on. Of course I care about it. You say you don't want to spend the money to make For, that change happen. Number one, we spent trillions, of, hundreds of billions of dollars. It doesn't do anything any good. Number That's two. That's not true. Number two, it is not the role of the American government to solve the problems of Pam Panama, El Salvador, and Honduras when our own citizens are suffering and are crying out for help. So why has the billions of dollars spent on Central American aid over the last four years we shouldn't been effective have spent, at slowing it the rates of sex trafficking in Central it, America? It, it, yeah, it hasn't, it hasn't slowed anything. No, it's what, been effective. It hasn't affected anything. It what you're talking has. about is bribing these governments where they then go give it to cartel leaders and say, hey, this month uh, send 20,000 people instead of 40,000 that, people. That's not what that money's going towards. It's going yeah. towards NGOs and no. bottom-up stabilization. If, if you think NGOs no. spend the money correctly? Okay, not Man, all you are NGOs, so naive. Sure. By the way, more people are crossing the Darien Gap than ever before. Not to mention, we are they're coming across on the CBP-1 app across the border into the interior of the United States in every single state. You cannot continue to have a country if you import import an unfamiliar third world this quickly into America. So now there should be a path to no, immigration. No, we should have no immigrants in this country right now. No immigrants None. in the country. We need a total, complete shutdown of immigration in this country until every single Gen Z person can afford a home and can get their act together and be able to afford the American dream. So what's dream. your path to Gen Z getting homes? Is it just kicking all, all well, brown people out? Not brown people. I think okay, we should- immigrants, yeah, yeah, yeah. We should, anyone that's here illegally should be deported back to their country of homeland. By the way, it's a moral position. So H-1B visas that like generate and we, stimulate we should, the economy, should, kick those out? Well, you know, that's interesting, H-1B. Well, you're studying computer, anything. Anybody, computer engineering? You guys have to compete against a foreigner for a job. That's wrong. Every. Yeah. Yeah, American. Well, I actually care about the country more than the free market. So, so. colleges should better prepare students and better yes, utilize government yes. resources. Well, college is a scam, so. but yes, we went. We did that earlier. For, for but, computer science, they shouldn't go to college. Well, actually, you don't need to go to college for computer science. You don't need to go to college no, for computer you, science? You could do a coding for, class in a couple months. You could do and a get coding a class. Yes. Yeah. Al Alphabet is hiring right now. Al Fa you Alphabet? could get a job at Alphabet, Google, yes. for taking a C++ class? Correct. Yes. yes. They're hiring coders after a 60-day okay. coding class. To, to, to answer your question, a country that ceases to secure its own sovereignty and does not think, I care more about my own people than the foreigners, ceases to be a country. Mm. You're a colony and you're mm. something else. And we are seeing our generosity be taken advantage of. I am all for American charities going down to Pan Panama and helping out. I'm sure. all for people giving to charity. So we should reallocate U.S. spending towards things that are actually effective for people in and outside of our borders. Well, so then we don't yes. have people coming into our borders and then we can help our people. Well, no, the way, again, if they come to the border and the border is closed and you say, Hasta la or vista, go just, back to Nicaragua. Or we, we spend in Central America, they don't have to come to the U.S. No, and then we have a better so U.S. Th that, the same amount of spending. No, no, it's, no, first of all, if you, to solve the problems of the third world would cost trillions of dollars, and that would all be laundered and not even work. And again, it's not the position of the American government to go throw money around in the Southern Triangle. Instead, it's our country's closed. We're not open for looting anymore. Go make Nicaragua great again, or go do what El Salvador has done. El Salvador is now a safe and stable country, and they're seeing their GDP go up, and it's not because of us. Yeah, it is. We put $4 billion into South Central Hold America. Hold on. And, you know, Bukele barely took the money. You know why it's safe? Bukele has turned El Salvador safe because he locked up all the criminals. He locked up 40,000 criminals and put them in prisons, and El Salvador is now safer than America. El Salvador was the murder capital of the world, and now El Salvador is much safer than America. I think it's wrong if you guys are afraid to walk the streets of Denver at night. I wouldn't walk the streets of Denver at night, would you guys? No! That's a breakdown of the fundamental role of government. Would you guys walk the streets of LA at night? No. no. The streets of San Francisco? No. We can't walk our own yes, greatest cities at night, and we want to <clears throat> bring in more people from the third world? Hell no! There, there's a reason that a lot of the black community isn't doesn't have a father and it's because of systemic racism it's because like black men are more likely to be in prison oh yeah so why do people go to prison for like a lot of the time it's because they're in poverty and they have no other way in poverty we should give excuses for committing crime yes like if someone is stealing something because they have no money oh, and so there's no that's jobs so interesting so you think most crimes are crimes of necessity in the black community um i wouldn't i'm not saying most something happened to black America since 1965. You mean the war on drugs? Th th if that's your contention, that's fine. So in order to, again, in order to go to jail for the war on drugs, you have to be dealing drugs, right? Or you have to be drugs. Excuse. So if you Yeah, which is one of like the main jobs that you can have in a like poverty stricken, like if there's no jobs, like you're, you're going to do drugs. I mean, you're gonna so, trade drugs no, because that's the only a, option you have. It's such a difference in worldview. I don't like making excuses for people that do things that are obviously destructive. Secondly, 
we have a problem in black America. The biggest problem is not racism. It's the lack of dads. If dads are around, kids flourish. Systemic racism creates family problems. If you take away black people from their families, then they're going to have right. broken families. Okay, so, but that's interesting. How are you taking them away? Aren't they leaving? If you stay single as a single mother, you get money from the federal government, and you're, it's basically subsidized, if you will. Sure. Can we, can we at least agree that if the nuclear family in black America was stronger and tighter knit, that would be a good thing? Um, in, in a lot of cases, yeah. There is a, obviously a huge issue in the country with health care prices. Yeah. What do you think is the best way to lower costs for families? The hospitals are gouging prices significantly. We have to try to get at the root cause, which is the food that we are feeding ourselves and our kids. We have to we have to get to the fact that we are an increasingly sedentary country. We aren't walking enough. We're not exercising enough. And healthcare costs are exploding because we don't actually address the root cause 20 or 30 years prior. How do, um, we, how do we take on those huge food companies? Well, the first thing is we should have a real conversation about banning pesticides in when we're making our food. Um, ultra, ultra processed yeah! food. Uh, ultra processed food should not be on the FDA recommended food pyramid. We have a chronic disease epidemic. It's not because our kids are lazier. It's because we are actively poisoning our kids with food from big ag that is that we're spraying with all these pesticides, these chemicals. And if you look at the ingredient list of just a Lunchables box, we, we are basically giving kids the worst thing possible for their metabolism, for their endocrinology. So that I, I'm more interested in a healthcare conversation that tries to make sure that a 12 year old doesn't have to get on Ozembic by the time they're 18 years old. And just so you know, they're giving pediatric Ozembic now for 12 and 13 year olds. They are, they are now treating obesity as a genetic disorder that you cannot do anything about. And they just want a 12 year old to now have to take a shot every week to try to curb their obesity, which has all other sorts of very, very negative health implications. Every so um, every day yeah. potentially, right? And so, so how do we solve that? Well, my personal crusade, we have to blow up the food pyramid that we have way too many carbohydrates in our diet, not enough healthy fats, and not enough protein. Whoever made that was obviously bought by the big ag companies. And you should just say, I'm not going to have any more high fructose corn syrup. I'm not going to have any more processed sugars. And if there are ingredients I can't pronounce, I should resist it, and you'll be a lot healthier because of it. So thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. So I just had a question, because you talk a lot about like protecting and securing our southern borders. Um, but as the granddaughter of immigrants, I think that we get into a lot of complicated disputes with the idea that um, immigrants are criminals or drug dealers and things like that. So I just want to hear what your opinion is on those expectations or those, um, what do you call it, those stereotypes that are put on Hispanic communities, Latino communities, and how they change the way people perceive immigration. Sure. So... Um Thank you for the question. So you said you're the f first generation yes, student or first generation American? I'm a first generation student. Cool, great. Second generation American? Did I hear that right? Um, third generation oh, cool. American on my mom's side. Uh, great. Second on my dad's. When your uh, your grandparents then, is that right, yes. came to this country, did they do so through the, the legal process that was in front um, of them? So my father got married to my mother. So he's a legal resident of the United States. She's been here her entire life. But did she, um, my, did she enter legally? My great... She did. She's okay. uh, she's born here. Yeah. Got it. Um, my grandpa on my dad's side entered in illegally. Okay. So um, I'm not here to like insult your grandpa, right? But I, I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I, 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 we must be very clear that the type of immigration that we support is when you follow our rules and you come on our terms, and that you do not break into a country uninvited and you try to cut. Can them. I add something to that? The reason why he left, and a lot of people in Mexico do, is because of the political state, especially in the 70s and 80s, when they decided to move. Um, they have a government that isn't supportive of their constituents, and because of drug problems, their, their only choice was to move. Yeah, I totally sympathize. That's not true. It's never the only choice to Thank commit you. crime. And we should not put up with it. And so it is a... It is an insult to other immigrants from Vietnam and Laos and Pakistan that have to wait decades in line to morally equivalent people that come in and just break in, oh, I have an unstable country. Like half of the world's countries are unstable. So look, we just have to be very clear with this, is that if you come into the country uninvited, you have committed a crime and you are a criminal. And we could decide that we're not gonna enforce our laws 
or we can say that when you are a criminal, you should then be punished for that crime, aka sent back to your country of origin, because you were not invited. And it is an insult, again, to the Poles and to the Czechoslovakians and from the Senegalese and people all across the world that don't have the proximity of the luxury just to waltz into America. You call it a luxury to leave a country that has political tyranny and come into a country with well, opportunity? Yes, to live in Mexico, to be able to go, you know, 100 miles north and break into America. Do you know how many people in Pakistan would kill to be on that border? That's why we bring them in. Well, well we shouldn't, <laughs> right? That's the point. And secondly, do you... Do you think that you have a right to immigrate to America? I think that I didn't have a choice. My grandparents made that decision okay, for me. And I'm not trying to attack your grandparents, but no one has a right to go to anybody Thank else's you. country. You are invited. It is a privilege, not a right, to come into America. So it's a privilege to live a life that requires you to have clean water, clean food, clean yes, air. Yes, of course it is. And you have to fight for that? Yes, it is not. But a, we didn't? Hold on a sec. Well, Born here, we didn't second. fight for that? Well. My ancestors did fight for that, actually, and I'm a very thankful recipient of many generations of Americans that fought for the greatest nation ever By to exist. By doing what? Coming here? Well, illegally? What, 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 wait, what did my ancestors do? They came, came here illegally. They came over here in 1620, fought in the Revolutionary War, fought in the Civil War, fought in World so War I, So because my grandpa didn't World come here in 1620, it gives him no right to well, have a good no, life? No, he can fill out paperwork and wait in line, like okay. the rest of the world. And then we can see sure. we can see whether or not it's in our best interest to allow him to come in. And so we have to weigh costs and benefits. Do you think that the American government should first have a obligation to citizens before foreigners? Mm. Okay, I think we have no, an answer obligation. The question. Yeah. Here's the thing. Yeah, we're obligated because we're citizens to have the rights that we have, but that doesn't mean we can't open up our ah, borders and we question. have the process Hold on a second. to do so. You, being a younger American, and everyone in the audience, is the yep. first generation in American history to have it be worse <laughs> off than sure. your parents. So the social, and you agree with that, social contract, poor, more expensive. Yep. So wouldn't it be rational for the American government to say, we're going to prioritize younger generation Americans that are American passport holders and citizens before those in another nation? I don't think, I don't, I don't want to say anything. She's lying to herself. But you, you, no, what, I've go already ahead. said it, right? I've already said yeah. it. Whatever. I think that the way we're going about it is wrong. And that if we don't have a clear path to citizenship, we won't open up those opportunities for people to come and seek a good life. But I also think but that, yeah, not, we are required to have those rights ourselves. Seeking a good American life citizens. is fine. It's a nice added benefit. Our government does not exist to improve the life of foreign citizens. A but government, we should be open to the idea of accepting of, that. Of course we are, if we have our own yep. house Thank in you. order. We are in chaos Thank right you. now. We have the most depressed, suicidal, anxious generation in history. Our birth rate is collapsing. Kids can't afford homes. Yeah. You guys are, are, are drowning in debt. You have to compete against jobs. You have to compete for jobs against foreigners. Our country is a mess right now. Mm -hmm. And so when your country is a mess and your home is in disarray and bedlam, your own government should say, time out. I have a heart for the people of Haiti. I have a heart for the people of every country. But... You're not coming here until this generation at least has it as good as their parents. And, and th that, sure. that is a very simple moral statement. If when you bring people in, they make the life worse for the people that were already here, should we stop letting those people in? Do they, though? Uh, yes, they do. Illegals every day are doing DUIs and kids are dying across the country. But if Americans Thousands are doing this, it's fine? Well, it's not fine. They should go to jail. But this, okay. is, the, this is the red herring is that <laughs> Americans are invited guests, foreigners are people that broke into the country that shouldn't be here, and none of those crimes should be happening at all. One of them is a crime of choice, the other is just a crime because that's part of what happens when you have a society. So when you have Americans that are murdered by illegals, that is because we have decided and chosen we're okay with them being here, and if they kill our people, no big deal. That's, I'm just trying to... I know we're not going to agree on no, it. That's fine. why I so, came up here in the first fine. place. I knew you are were... you okay with deporting every illegal person that's here? No. Why? Because there's some people here that are not represented well by the media. There's a lot of illegal immigrants here that are working their butts off for the life that no, they no, want. I, I don't care if they're working hard. But the point <laughs> is, what should the punishment be for breaking into a country? Depends on the crime you commit after no, no. you break into it. Okay. No, ju no, that's it. The, uh, I, I'm, not, I'm talking about just the crime is breaking in. What should the punishment be? I break into somebody's home, what should their punishment be? Do you, can you repeat that? Oh, so if you behave after you get here, that's fine. So to play that out, if someone comes into your dorm room 
uninvited and they do the dishes and laundry, they can stay? If I'm not going to do my own dishes, heck yeah. They're doing my dishes for me? Cool. If they don't kill me, I'm not dead. It is what it is, man. Well, they, they are killing a lot of Americans, but... You say they. Like, they are? Yes, like, they. Like, all illegal immigrants kill m people? M That's crazy. Many illegals do, actually. No, but it's just interesting. The punishment for the crime of breaking into a nation should be what it is in Switzerland Thank you, and Richard. Israel and Hungary. Every person who breaks into a nation uninvited goes back to their country of origin, period. So why End is there story. an emphasis on the southern border? Because most people come illegally through the southern border. The point I'm trying to make is that we categorize all illegal immigrants under the same thing. Sex traffickers, no, drug not, dealers. Am I and doing that? And by you saying all illegal immigrants no, no, have no, no. to be deported, yes. you're implying that all of I'm them are anything. doing these I'm terrible being things. Super and clear. not a small percentage of them. If you come into a country uninvited, definitionally you are a criminal. We're just not going to agree. It's fine. Then That's final okay. question. What is a criminal? What is a criminal? No, no. What, what is it? Would you agree with the definition that a criminal is someone who breaks the law? Mm. Here's where I'm thinking. <laughs> I don't, here's the thing. I don't... I know how he's going to turn it, and I don't fully understand. It's not a matter of What's turning this? it. It's a, it's a very ABC sequence. If they're not criminals, then tell me what a criminal is. And a criminal is obviously someone who breaks the law. Someone who comes across the southern border broke federal law. Therefore, they are a criminal. Okay, then we can just disagree. This <laughs> is a lot. Is it a fun thing about immigration? Immigrating to a country is a good step. That is if you come in legally. You understand? I, I, I see no offense when someone coming into a country legally, following through the books and everything. Permit that. So people will spend decades before coming to America in the first place. Um, as long as you come in legally, you are accepted. But it's not about coming in illegally. It's a terrible thing. And right now, America is in a mess. If, if you ask me personally, I feel like America should reduce people who come into America right now or better still, cut it. For the meantime, <clears throat> cut it. Because right now, America is in a mess. America have to clean off the mess before allowing people come in. Because right now we are, people are scared sometimes to walk at night. There are some neighborhoods you can't ever go into because you're scared of what might happen to you. There are illegal immigrants coming into America like on a daily basis and they're causing harms, guys. They're causing serious harm. This is something America have to focus on more before allowing others come in. They have to know the numbers of people who are in the country before allowing other people who want to come in, come in. I'm not saying allowing people come in is the bad thing. But first, you have to get your house clean before allowing any other person come in. That's how it ought to be, guys. So people tell this lady right here who was talking about um, the Shala the border open, um, people are hardworking. We don't care if you're hardworking or not. As long as you come into the country illegally, your your character, who you are, really does not matter right now. It's what you have done. That's what matters. You have broken federal law. Coming into a country illegally, it is the bad thing. So they will deal with you according to the book by deporting you back to your own, your own homeland. You understand? So, either you are of good character, either you work hard, either you are a disciplined person, either you have you you come you came into the country for a greener pasture. But what you have done have broken federal law. It's it's what counts. So people stay decades before coming to America. Why? Because they want to come into the right come into America through the right process, and that is what matters. That itself speaks character. Coming into America the right way. You see, America is a very tolerant country. They tolerate a lot of things. There are some countries that when you come into the country illegally, at your entrance, they're deporting you back on an instant. You don't have to stay there to the following day. They're deporting you back. So America tolerates a lot of excesses. If you ask me, they tolerate a lot of things. Proper caution and proper following by the books, America will be disarray. America will be terrible. And people that 
want to come, we don't want to come anymore. Because they feel like their own homeland is better than America right now. If America does not keep his house clean. You understand? This is something that people won't talk about. All these people who are voicing that um, I, like immig- I like immigrants coming. I like immigrants coming. Without regulation, there is no rule. You have to regulate the rule. You understand? People who open out and say, allow all of them come in. They are not saying they won't allow people. America accepts millions of people per year. That is a massive number if you ask me. They're one of the most accepting countries in the world. Charlie handled every single knife labor. And he gave them a reason for his own answers. Comment down below to think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as can. Subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe.